I have a USB battery pack back here uh, powering the here now it's hooked up again to that power pack but we're using it as a secondary monitor for a MacBook Air hey guys welcome to another video in this video we're gonna be taking a look at a portable monitor that is just straight up dope this is a 1080p portable monitor that you are gonna to wanna to just you're gonna to wanna to get one of these because it's got so many use cases. So if you're a gamer, this is awesome. You can take this with you, uh, have a little portable rig for your Xbox One or your PS4, and we're gonna take a look at some footage of that and see what it looks like. If you want another monitor, uh, you can use this as a secondary monitor to your MacBook or your laptop or whatever. Uh, just so many use cases for this bad boy. And uh, it has a, a lot of features to it. And again, it's one of the fastest refresh rates um, and at 1080p, it's probably one of the highest quality portable monitors available today. And this is from Jachik. It's G E Chick, C H I K, or C H I C. Uh, on lap, this is the model number. We can flip it around here. The 1303i. There we go, right there. See that model number? And just check the show notes. I always have a link uh, in the show notes where you can pick up whatever I'm reviewing. Um, so let's go ahead. Without further delay, open this up and take a look at what this baby has in the box and has to offer under the hood. Okay, so let's reveal. Nope, just styrofoam. Get that out of the way. Here you can see the, man the manual. To check on lap, read me before usage, the manual of 1303. Put that aside. See what all we get in the box. Now, it looks like we get a lot of cables. That's a bonus. It's always nice to get a bunch of cables when you get, get a device. That way you don't have to pay extra to go get those cables. So that is sweet. All right, so looks like we have a, this is just a micro USB cable. This here looks like a, HDMI to micro USB, or maybe that's just a display adapter. And this looks like a double USB with micro USB. So, a lot of different cables here. Who knows what this is? We'll unwrap this all after a bit. Let's go ahead and get out the monitor. And hopefully, let's see, that appears to be everything in the box. Let's go ahead and get the box out of view and focus on this bad boy right here. Here we go. Check out that monitor. Well, at least the back side of it, huh? I guess if you want, didn't keep this. I mean, this is just packaging, but you know, it's a nice little uh, carry tote to keep everything safe. If you wanted to use that as that. Okay, now you can see this bad boy is encased. So let's go ahead and unpackage this. So this is what I like about this monitor. So the actual carrying case acts as a screen protector. So here is the actual front of it. And you can see here, you actually do have a kickstand. So you can take this and actually put it like so. And then just put your monitor in that and it stands right up. So that is a really neat little uh, feature there that the actual carrying case or the protector shield is actually like your kickstand as well. All right, so here's the monitor itself. Let's go ahead and break the seal on this bad boy. You can see it's very well protected. Not only did it have that layer, it's got that layer on it. And my studio lights reflecting the screen there. All right, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. And we haven't even turned it on yet. Okay. Let's look at all the uh, ports here. So we've got a headphone jack. Uh, we have HDMI, and this is a micro HDMI. Let's turn this around so that actually everything's up. Uh, display port, a VGA port. Um, that looks like just micro USB here. And... I don't know what this one is. DCN. Uh, so another 
um, maybe electricity that's how it actually charges or powers so that's your DC in so uh, down here looks like maybe something to mount and then over here we've got a lot of buttons so we have up down uh, looks like maybe we have a brightness and a power button over here and uh, got fingerprints on the screen already so really really cool so basically what you got to do with this bad boy and we'll take it for a spin here in just a minute is we just put this in the case that actually is like a carry case so we just stick it in there like so and then with the built-in kickstand back here we can prop it up again this is a USB powered monitor so you take it with you there we go sets up very nicely you know there's multiple angles with this so if I wanted to lean it back even more got it like that so you got a lot of different angles you can adjust this to so this is a really cool um, case and and all-in-one kind of function here so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some use cases with this so we're gonna get this set up maybe use a couple accessories peripherals whatever and see what all we can do with this a lot of use cases again Xbox one PS4 laptop monitor oh we can just come up with a couple other things too I'm sure so let's pause the video we're gonna come back and forth to a couple different use cases and check out what's under the hood on this portable monitor we'll be right back All right, guys, welcome back. And just a quick example, we've got this set up. And how we've got this set up is I have a USB battery pack back here uh, powering the monitor here. So that is simply uh, into the DC in, which is a micro USB out of that USB. That gives the monitor the power. Now, in this example, and we're going to look at a couple, I have an iPad Air with a HDMI lightning adapter here plugged in to the monitor so basically anything that's on the iPad so let's go ahead and just minimize you can see anything that's on the iPad is mimicked on the screen and if I, if I do this you can see there's very there's no real lag or latency there pretty much responsive so that's a pretty good uh, refresh rate pretty good it, it, may, it might just be a little bit behind you can see if I do that it trails so there's a little bit of lag to it but this is a great example, so that's why I wanted to hook up to an iPad Air and show you what kind of difference you're going to see. And you can see those icons finish over here after they're done over here. So, now for gamers, that could be a showstopper. It just depends on how competitive you are. We're going to look at this hooked up to an Xbox. But this is one example of if you wanted to use this as a presentation of something you had on an iPad, you could do this. You could make another screen for your iPad. Now, I wished with the, uh, you know, you could move a, an app over here and have an app over here on an iPad and do multitasking on different screens. As far as I know, there's no way to do that. If you know of a way, leave it in the comments because I'm all ears. Okay, let's move on to another example and we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So in this configuration what we're doing is we're using the Jachik uh, portable monitor here. Now it's hooked up again to that power pack, but we're using it as a secondary monitor for a MacBook Air. Now, there's a little catch. You do need one secondary component to make this work, but it works beautifully when you get it set up. So basically, you can see here, uh, I can drag and drop uh, so this basically makes this a second monitor and this is a portable monitor so I can do this pretty much anywhere I, I'm on the road whatever I can take this and I can drag it across over here and just drop it here or I could take Safari for example and I can drag it over here so how do we make this magic happen on a MacBook Air now this does not have an HDMI adapter or a HDMI plug in this 13 inch MacBook Air but by simply coming in and using what they call a display to de a display adapter to an HDMI cable here and this is from 
Aureli, 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 I don't know, I'm, I'm going to butcher it, A-L-L-R-E-L-I, I'll have a link in the show notes, we can pick one of these up, 4K and 2K uh, compatible, so if you had a higher end monitor or something that you wanted to use this on as well, you could, um, but basically I plugged that into the little display port down here in the MacBook Air, and then I took the uh, HDMI cable that came with the G-Chick portable monitor, which it also plugs into this kind of a proprietary uh, display port up here. Well, it's not really proprietary, but it's a display port up here. So it's an HDMI to, to a display port with a HDMI to display port adapter built in. And then you come in here and you say you don't mirror the displays, and then you can drag it and arrange it how you want in your preferences on your MacBook Air, thus giving you two screens of real estate on the go. Prop this up just like you see it, and then have your MacBook Air, and then like I said, you got two screens of real estate you can actually go out here and do stuff with. So again, I'll have a link in the show notes where you can pick up. This is just a simple little adapter, Display Port to HDMI adapter. Uh, and I'll have this exact one in the show notes. Very affordable, and this will make it so you can do both, which is just completely awesome when you're talking about a MacBook. Now you can also do this with a Windows laptop. Uh, if you got an HDMI plug already there, super simple. You don't even need the adapter. Just plug into an HDMI out on, say, a MacBook Pro or a Windows laptop and do this the exact same way. We won't demo that because this is kind of the laptop demo for it, how you can do it. I wanted to do it with a MacBook Air, make it a little more complicated because this is probably some kind of scenarios that a lot of people might have. Um, a lot of people like toting around these MacBook Airs, um, contractors, vendors, all that kind of thing. This is a good example of what they could do. So I'm going to pause this. Now let's look at some gaming with this bad boy. Now I want to point out, there are speakers built into this. Now I didn't demonstrate it really too much. You kind of probably heard it with the iPad when I had Hearthstone running. The sound was actually coming out of the g -Chick portable monitor. Uh, the speakers aren't great, but it does have a headphone jack. So if you had a speaker that had a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary in, plug into that and pipe that sound out into a better speaker or plug in some decent headphones and go from there. So anyway guys, we're going to be right back with a gaming demonstration. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Is Cadet ever to be admitted to the Shadow Marshal Academy? You should be proud. I know if your father was here, he'd feel the same way. All our people want is to be kept safe. That means taking the fight to the Hellgast. It means crossing the wall. No matter what they do, it's still Vector over there. One day you're going to get it back. All right, guys. So this is hooked up to a PS4, which is right here uh, in my entertainment rack. So if you want to take your gaming portable, you can do just that with this monitor. So basically, just plug it into the HDMI out on the back of your PS4, Xbox One, whatever, console, even if you wanted to use a Wii U, which is right there. Uh, you can do that and make this a portable gaming machine. Again, 1080p, a good refresh rate. Um, so this would be a perfect portable gamer's delight. So let's see if we can get into a little bit of gameplay here. So you can see this makes for a great gaming monitor. So anyway guys, that's the demo of the g -Chick portable monitor. Uh, makes great, you know, just so many different use cases for this bad boy. This is definitely one of them that works really good for the gamers out there. If you want to see some more footage of this uh, monitor, then please let me know. And we will try to do a few more follow-up videos with this bad boy. And I've got some uh, ideas, so we may do some follow-ups. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.